What's going on, everybody? Um, today, I want to talk about a very interesting topic, right? You know, it's it's the deep tech space. A lot of people don't even talk about it about it in Africa, uh, unfortunately. But uh, deep tech, I, I truly believe deep tech is going to revolutionize and build a future of technology. And just to summarize what deep tech is, it's really it's really advanced technology. In, in a very broad field. But uh, in, in general term, it's, it's usually a combination, not all the time, but usually a combination of hardware and software uh, to solve, you know, massive uh, uh, um, challenges in the health sector, science, with quantum uh, technology. If you guys know, uh, check it out. Uh, quantum is, is also is gonna be a big thing, but um, in the chip sector, what else in the health sector? Uh, but if 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 you look at the ecosystem of deep tech in Africa, it's non-existent, literally non-existent. And and the way you know it's non-existent because there's no uh, VC or funds really focusing on deep tech. We have a lot more fun, you know, focusing on app. Um, software, fintech, of course, uh, education, ed tech, uh, but software based. I mean, today, you, you know, you, you got teenagers, you got high school kids developing app. Nothing to take away. That's a great thing. But it's just, you know, the, the technology commodity for, for apps and all that, it's really been watered down uh, where it's very easy to, 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 uh, to develop. But deep tech, has a different cycle. It's much more long term. You know, if if you have an MVP on a software, it's much faster. But on a deep tech, you have to test it. You can't just launch it because there's a hardware component to it. Um, the investment cycle is also different. The revenue cycle is also different because you you're really dealing with advanced technology. So there's an educational aspect to 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 educate uh, your your customer about this technology, so on so forth. And the sad part about it, um, you know, the fact that it's not existent in Africa, and that's truly the future. It's another topic that I really break my heart again to bring this type of conversation where we have no footprint. And, and it's not zero footprint. There's a very interesting company in Guinea, for example, Tulip um, Industries. Uh, developing uh, deep tech technology in the health sector to scan and all those things uh, using either kiosk or tablets. That's a perfect example um, of how it can be used. You can use deep tech also in, in, in with AI in, uh, in the drone technology. There's some companies uh, getting into that. Uh, I only know one, but it, it's, it's, it's really far in between compared to the need. I, I, and I want to use a perfect example. Look at the chip system, chip shortage happening around the world. Um, and if you look at Africa, there's no chip manufacturing or research and development or, or, or chip production company on, in the whole continent of Africa, right? Um, and, and chip is going to be the core of pretty much any products in the future um, and in a very near future. There's not going to be any more product without a, some type of chip inside uh, to collect some type of information. And we're now manufacturing this. And this is going to become like the same issue we have with COVID uh, vaccine where we now manufacture and we have no technology or solution to manufacture uh, COVID vaccine. And we have to wait but the patent hopefully will be open uh, for us to be able to manufacture it. So we have no R&D on that. And it, it, it caused some type of, of uh, national security, or I should say the, the continental security aspect. And CHIP is going to become the same aspect. And, and you have very key countries dominating that market. Even the U.S. today is no longer want to manufacture CHIP outside the country. They want to build their own manufacturing, development, research and development capabilities. You know, it's just to tell you how important that is. And we're not investing any money 
into this space. So deep tech is going to be key. And, and we still have a chance because, again, the African market is very unique and the need is very different than some of the need we have in, in the West. But it, just to give you a, a number, I was, I was researching. The deep tech space in Europe today is worth $700 billion with a B. $700 billion dollars right they investing massively in that space and we always talk about uh, what what kills me about africa we we always um on the sideline when it comes to building the future technology for all you know continent i'm not even talking about uh, uh everybody else no for us for us we always on the sideline we always watching, looking, who's going to bring this type of solution. And the, the few that are doing something don't get the support. Um, and there's a huge need uh, in, in that space, especially on a VC fund, you know, because it's a very unique space. So I wanted to share that because it, it, it really, uh, it, it really um, touched me, uh, you know, just to see how everybody else is really investing and if you don't believe what I'm telling you just do this I'm gonna end with this just do this go online go on Google and Google deep tech Africa and Google deep tech Europe deep tech USA deep tech India you know and you'll see the difference as a matter of fact me personally I didn't find anything with deep tech Africa so check it out um, do your homework also, but uh, if any VC watching that, that that that's a that's a space that's just gonna be revolutionizing the technology of tomorrow. All right, take care. Thanks for checking out the vlog, and any comment ideas, please put it uh, below on the comment side.